A deadly crash in South Jordan is now prompting a new warning about kids, car seats, and airbags. The force from an airbag killed a four-year-old boy just sitting in the front seat. ABC4's Rosie Nguyen joins us in studio with tips on how all of us should be properly restraining children. Rosie? Brian, Emily, police say they believe the child was wearing a seatbelt in the passenger seat, but did not have any type of child restraint or booster seat. They say the crash caused the airbags to deploy, causing what they call catastrophic injuries to the boy, who later died at the hospital. Investigators say shortly before 4 p.m. Wednesday, a man driving near 3700 West South Jordan Parkway rear-ended another car which hit a third car. His four-year-old son sat in the passenger seat while an 11-year-old and a seven-year-old sat in the back seat. The force from the crash caused the airbags to deploy, sending the four-year-old boy to the hospital where he later died. Police say even though this is a type of crash they see all the time, the tragic outcome serves as an alarming reminder to parents. Your airbag will deploy at very, very low speeds, especially when the bumper is initiated like this. Those airbags will go off in under a 10 mile an hour crash. But what you need to remember is that airbag is coming out at approximately 200 miles per hour. And so even though you might only be going forward at 30, that's a 230 mile an hour collision with your body. Here's what police want parents to remember. For proper child restraints, kids should be rear facing until they are two years old and heavier than 30 pounds. Kids should be in a booster until they are four years old and weigh at least 40 pounds. Police say all children under age 12 should ride in the back seat. Police say they are unsure at this time if they will press charges on the father. They say they see parents driving around with their kids in the passenger seat all the time, thinking it's okay since they're just around the corner from home. And that was the case here. They were less than a mile from home. Brian, back to you. Tough to believe. Thank you much there, Rosie.